Yo, what's going on, sexy Sandlander squad? I am hitting up Hoi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh ye. Oh ye. Because I haven't I uh ready to go. I haven't played him in a while, and it's actually gonna be a Hoi mirror match with somebody that has a border on Hoi. So he definitely plays Hoi more than I do. I uh, I have played Hoi much in the past, as you can see by my three stars. But um let's get started. I've been pretty much perma banning Hoi for like two whole seasons now every single game <laughs> and it's not so much that i think it's better to perma ban him because i do think i'm better at hoi than you know a lot of people are but uh i just think i don't know maybe the one in a million chance that i accidentally leave hoi open and he plays hoi and i don't play hoi it's going to piss me off. And I know it's going to piss me off. You know, I'm not ignorant. Alright, I didn't get my two. So I do more damage than you do. I don't know what that was. He got his two, so he thought he would win the fight instantly. Um, but because we both have mannequins... And the fact that I didn't get my two, which I don't think anyone should ever get their two on Hoi level three. Um, my ability damage is just going to be out of this world. Like, there's no way you're ever going to win a fight against me level three. Unless, unless you get a double bounce on the wall and I don't. Hello. Okay, I severely beat him. Perfect. That's two Hoi kills in one minute against another Hoi. Like I said, I feel like my Hoi is pretty solid. I just don't play him much because I don't like the BS of the ricochets. You know, like you can kind of just shoot them anywhere and they most of the time they hit what you want to. <laughs> you don't need to aim too hard about it. Like I went for the, I went for the Hail Mary uh, double bounce there. Didn't get it. Didn't matter. You know, it didn't matter. But you can just go for that because the initial damage of it is still so good. Which is why, like I said, I ban Hoi because it's a bit of a BS god to me. But I haven't played him on YouTube in quite some time, so I figured, why not? Yes. Keep alert. Alert. I assume he back did back. I'm looking at a very solid kill right now. He can stun me in alt, which is the reason I'm running. I know he's gonna jump. I don't care too much about that. What I care about is forcing him back just so I can farm. Because even if he doesn't bees that or jump away from it and just tanks it or whatever, it doesn't matter. What matters is me being ahead of him. And by forcing some minions into tower and also uh, forcing him back, that's going to give me a significant lead for him. I still don't have enough damage to clear away with my jump, huh? Slightly annoying. Oh, what does my two do? An extra percentage of damage every 10% health he's missing. Um, wow, it emanates great power. I mean, I it, it would be dumb not to max that, right? Like, my dive bomb will do a lot of damage. But I'm just going to max my mark. Damn, I have Transcendence and he doesn't even have Jotuns yet. What I assume is Jotuns, I, I don't actually know. Now, I don't have beads, so if he gets a nice stun into alt, or alt into stun, I am big dead. He has alt. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. Didn't matter. Did not matter in the slightest. Nice. 
my dive bomb does actually clear the minion wave now. Thank God. I hate it when it doesn't. Like when I use my one and my three and the wave is still standing, it's the most obnoxious thing in the universe. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> that ricochet did 865 damage. There's there's no way this guy plays this game out, right? There's no way. I'm 4 0 in four minutes. With an almost fully stacked transcendence at four minute four and a half minutes. Like there's no way you ever played that out, right? He's doing literally half the damage I'm doing. Why, why jump on me? I guess maybe he wanted to go for the kill before he surrenders. All right, here it goes. Two, one, surrender. Easy, called it. Um, I'll try to get Hoi in another game, I guess. And I'll, I'll try to do like a back-to-back like -back Hoi game. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? Game number two. I'm playing Hoi again. I'm fighting a Horus, and I am fighting Kevin Max's 11. Now, I was watching some Shinigami stream, which you don't know that his name was Pringles. Um, and he, he, sh I mean, he showed me the light. I'll be honest. Hmm. He showed me the light of Horus. For some reason, I, I when I play Horus, it doesn't look like that. But when he plays Horus. Everything seems so simple. Like, it just falls into place. And he thinks Horus is literally, like, actually an S-tier god in duel. Uh, like, unironically. So, I don't, I, I don't know if I should be scared of Horus or not. I am. But only because I've seen Shinigami play Horus. And I want to say nobody can play Horus like him. But then what if someone can? What if someone can and then I just get my ass beat? That's unfortunate. And also, I mean, kind of funny, but like mainly unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this guy's definitely not Shinigami. He missed all of his abilities. Are your abilities on a longer cooldown than mine? Or am I okay? I'm not scared of you. Dude, look at that damage I did. Look at that damage and also look at his mana. <laughs> he is certainly not winning this fight. So he's going to back out. He's going to get the XP. And the minion wave, obviously, and then I'm going to go for the red buff. Why are you here? Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. You should be back. Okay. I am extremely scared. Of him alting me. But I don't know. Mannequins, maybe? Maybe some, like, insane mannequins play or something. I alt that. Be back. The wave is clear. Stayed, because you can't miss a wave. I am not scared of you. I have shell. I'm scared of you. Okay. I'm no longer scared of you. Are you going to ult? Oh no. Can you see Horus in the air if he ults? You can't, right? Because his technically his character is still on the ground. Because you can still beat his ass while he's on the ground. 
So he just is going to completely surprise me with an ult. Eventually. Also, something that Shinigami did that I didn't think about doing is he would actively use his ult like often to just put his own minion wave at his blue buff. That might sound stupid, but when you put your own minion wave at your blue buff, you always have something to teleport to over the wall, which is insane utility. And you're also messing up his uh his xp oh you definitely do not live through this by the way massive kill i don't know maybe one of these games soon maybe even tomorrow i'll hit up a horus game and we'll see if i can if i can make some magic happen as of right now i i don't know <laughs> i don't know But I did get a kill. I have all the XP on the map. We went Blackthorn. Blackthorn is not a good item anymore. I guess, I mean, it's not a bad item. What the heck? I actually hit me. I missed my stun, dude. Frick. You didn't hit the stun on me, so you are... <gasps> Oh, you're completely immune while dashing. My three didn't hit him. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay. Fair play to Mr. Horse. I had no idea you could do that. I thought he was dead. I mean, clearly by my exasperated gasp. It was made pretty obvious that I had no idea he could do that. Now, this is stupid, okay? Don't do this. If you're in a position in a video game, I'm dead. Oh my god. Am I so lucky. I'm so lucky. Anyways, that's another five minutes. Right I'm just going to mash those two together, call it a video, and show you guys why I don't play Hoi. It's not because I think I'm bad at him. I actually think I'm quite good with him. Uh, I just... It would be constant Hoi mirror matches. And if it's not a Hoi mirror match, I just slam the opponent. And oftentimes in mirror matches, I slam the opponent. So it's not that fun. It's not that fun for me. Which is why I don't play him. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys. Peace.